Hi, I'm Mags Courts. I'm Head of CAMS Commissioning for Black Country Healthcare NHS Trust. Sandwell Young People's Thrive Model has been created so that it will help you to understand what will happen when you require advice, guidance and support with your emotional well-being. We would ask though, as soon as you see anything going wrong in your life that you feel you need support for, that you speak to a trusted adult. Find someone that you think will be able to give you the advice you need and tell them what's going on. We really don't want you to wait until you're in a crisis to get the support that you need. The framework is needs-led, meaning that mental health needs are defined by children, young people and their families, alongside professionals through shared decision-making. Each issue that you have will be dealt with individually. So therefore, you may receive a different level of support for each of those issues. You might find that you'll be offered support from a different organisation that actually will be just what you need and just right for your needs. But that will depend on the referral that comes in. Most children and young people thrive emotionally, even with the ups and downs of normal everyday life. And that's what we all want. All of us want to be able to thrive, to do well, to enjoy our lives. But usually we thrive with the help of the people around us. That could be your family, your parents, your carers, your brothers and sisters, maybe your friends, maybe other trusted adults in your life. We just don't want to wait until things start to go wrong to help you to thrive. But we all know, even when everyone pulls together to promote good, active emotional well-being, some young people develop additional emotional needs. And that's the time that we need to think about what that support looks like. It's at this time that we think it'd be a good idea to speak to a trusted adult who may be able to give you useful advice and signpost you to a service so that you know what your options are for the future. Hello Amelia, my name is Dr Aslam. How can I help you today? Um, so uh, I wanted to come and speak to you today um, because uh, I haven't really been feeling myself. Um, I did speak to uh, one of my teachers at school um, and they told me um, just to sort of, you know, uh, have a look online um, and gave me some ideas of some more activities. Um, and I did give them a go um, and they, they did help a little bit, but just not as much to sort of get me back to how I feel like I should be. I understand. Well, it's good that you have tried. Um, Amelia, I do want to just stress the importance that speaking to me today is all confidential. That means nobody else will know about this apart from me and you. Um, and obviously, if we share your information with other services to provide further care, you know, we'll talk about that in a minute and, and they'll know about it, but nobody else. So, you know, you're protected from that perspective. Right. Um, what I can do now for you, if you want to, because um, you have tried other avenues, like you said, the websites um, and activities, but that hasn't helped. I can refer you to CAMS. Um, it's a service called SPA and, and they will be able to, uh, you know, discuss what you've told me today and offer you further support. Is that something you'd be interested in? Yeah. Definitely. Okay. Um, so what we'll do next is we'll just complete the assessment, um, the referral form, but I do need you to be as honest as possible because as I said, this is all confidential. The more information that you can tell me for the form, the better it is and they'll be able to give you the right care. Okay. Is that all right? Okay. Uh, my name is Charity and I work for Single Point of Access, which we call SPA in short. We are a team that consists of um, therapies, um, occupational therapies, social workers and mental health nurses. And what we do is we review all mental health and emotional concerns that are referred into SPA um, and also um, neurodevelopmental issues. So once we receive these um, concerns, we review these concerns and um, signpost or um, put 
put things in place to meet those needs. Our aim is to make sure that everybody gets the support that they need. Uh, we work together with families and other professionals to ascertain more information. Um, sometimes when we receive a referral, uh, we might have enough information that will in enable us to be able to triage or we might have to call you and get more information. Once we have this information, um, we'll be able to signpost. Uh, so this could be uh, to other agencies that we work alongside. They, they provide therapeutic interventions and talking therapies and other therapies to help meet emotional, emotional needs and mental health needs. My name's Ed, um, I work in the getting help section and by that we, we receive re referrals and those are picked up by us and, and looked at and then services agreed for that person that's, that's appropriate for them. Um, people come to us with a variety of, of difficulties. It could be the, that it's an anxiety that they're struggling with, it could be their mood, um, it could be low self-esteem or confidence or some kind of emotional regulation. Um, you could be feeling really angry about something. It might even be for, for loss. Um, but whatever the reason is that, that we're, we're looking at supporting people um, in a way that's appropriate to them. And it may be that one-to-one -one counselling is, is good for you or it could be group work. And, and what we would try to do is to to make sure that, that what's given out to you is, is appropriate for you. Hi, uh, my name's Nikki Mountford. I'm a mental health nurse by background and I manage the specialist part of Sandwell Cams. We see young people from the age of naught to 18 with moderate to severe mental health difficulties variety of conditions from anxiety, depression, OCD and, and sort of everything in between. So if you're um, triaged at SPA as requiring initial assessment from a specialist CAMS, you'll receive an appointment in the post and then usually they're face to face. Um, if you want to request a video appointment then that's okay, you're, you're able to do that. But generally, you'd turn up to Lodge Road in West Brom for a face-to-face -face initial assessment. And this would be with any of our clinicians. And we've got a range of clinicians here. We've got nurses, we've got family therapists, we've got psychologists, we've got occupational therapists, and we've got doctors. Pretty much for an initial assessment, we all do the same job. And it will involve you and your family if you would like them involved in talking about yourself, talking about your difficulties, also those, you know, talking about your strengths, things that you enjoy doing, and as much information as we can gather during that appointment will give us the right information to know that, you know, which kind of intervention is going to be the best for you. So following that appointment, you'll have a risk assessment and you'll have a care plan and you'll have um, an agreement with the, with the clinician who's completed it to know the best way forward. That might be coming into specialist CAMS to have a further intervention. Now, it will probably mean a bit of a wait as well on our waiting list, I'm afraid. But while you're on our waiting list, you'll receive phone calls every 12 weeks from somebody from specialist CAMS in order to check in with you and to see how you're going. You'll have a risk assessment and a care plan for things that you can be doing in the meantime as well. Once you uh, have reached the top of the waiting list and you come into specialist CAMS, there could be a variety of interventions that, that you have. We have art therapy, we have play therapy, we have music therapy, we have nurses that complete risk assessments and CBT based interventions, we have family therapy, we have more specialist trauma therapy as well, which may be appropriate to you. But you'll have these discussions with the clinicians. It's all kind of sort of tailored to your need.
Hello, my name's Brona. I work in the CAMS crisis um, and home treatment intervention team. We accept referrals from um, our local um, general hospital here in Samwell. Um, also can be via schools, um, GPs and um, other agencies via our single point of access service here in um, Samwell. Our CAMS crisis team, we are a short-term intervention service. We work with young people that are presenting in immediate um, risk or mental health crisis. So our work consists of um, risk assessing, risk management. Um, that can include high level intensity of engagement um, with a young person, it can be looking at uh, medication management, being reviewed by our um, team psychiatrist, and also about looking at what the current um, needs are of the young person. Um, it may be looking at short-term um, crisis management, distress tolerance skills or coping mechanisms, um, and also um, some um, risk prevention um, techniques that we use with the young person and the family and carers alike. We look at working um, as a holistic um, service where we also look at working with um, other agencies that support the young person and family members, i.e. social care, schools, so we can come up with a collaborative um, plan for that young person and managing their risk and their safety.